Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. It's a long day. It's really hot today. It's like in the night, the high 90s, like 97, almost 100 degrees outside. It's crazy. I just got back from my brother's graduation. Shout out to my little bro, graduating high school. Did a good job. I'm proud of it. But anyway, let's get right to it. Today, we're going to take a look at a brand new product from the guys at Antelope Audio. And no, it's not no plugins, not no synthesizer. It's actually a microphone, to be exact. This microphone right here, the brand new Edge Go microphone from the guys at Antelope Audio. We're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna test it out. It's gonna be my first little impressions look before I do review. But yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what comes inside of it. And then, you know, we're gonna try it out. So let's do that right now. Okay, now that we got the angle a little switched over right here, I also gotta say, if you can't follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud, I mentioned different TV, it should be right there at the bottom somewhere on the screen over there, right there. So you see it. And you know, just follow me, subscribe to the channel, trying to hit 100K this year, all the good stuff. No, here it is right now, the Antelope Audio Go microphone. It's the Edge microphone. This is a modeling microphone. It's supposed to be like their new flagship on the go type of microphone. So this is just the first person unboxing type video. Like I said, we're doing the full review later, probably a week or two so, but we are gonna plug it up and try it out. So as you can see, beautiful case when you buy this microphone, it gets a full flight case, because this is supposed to be a portable microphone system. So let's just pop it open and open that bad boy up. Oh, look at this. All right, so we already know we get the documents that I dabbed to hold on to these, because they did not sponsor this video. I do want to stress that I do have to return this unit. I only get it for a, few, for a couple weeks, so they did not pay me. So when I do my full review and testing out it with it, this is going to be 100% me. They just sent it to me for free to try out. So yeah, before any of the haters comments going, eh, you got paid to do this, blah, blah. You know, there it is. So uh, I guess first we'll just look at, you know, of course, it's a USB microphone, which is going to be the weird thing but this is a usb microphone and here's the usb cable as you can see it's actually a pretty decent usb case it's pretty long it also got a different connection because it's it's a type c connection and it got a type a or type b i forgot which one it's called but you also got an adapter right there for older generation of microphones or computers so that's dope you got this oh oh yes look oh man look at this shock mount look at that shock mount i don't know if it'll focus in but look at that shock mount that is beautiful I just want, I want to keep this for myself. They might not get the shop mount back because, oh, it's a badass shop mount. Yeah, Antelope Audio, if you're watching this video, you might not be getting this back. So I'm keeping that. That's dope shop mount. Going to help reduce vibrations like that. Here is the Edge Go microphone. And okay, well, it's not a, it's, it's not a particularly heavy microphone. I'll go ahead and say that. It's not really heavy. Um, it's USB, as you can see right here at the bottom. We got a USB port. I don't know if it'll focus in. You got USB and you got a headphone right here to get direct monitoring. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like the, the black finish. I love the grill. The grill is nice. It's dual capsule. So I think it's omnidirectional. I think it's, yeah, I think it's, it's got dual capsule. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice size. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a dope microphone, you know, don't, don't try to put this place you shouldn't be putting it, but yeah, I, I like it. It's pretty dope. Uh, I think, yes. Oh, oh, okay. That is dope. So at the bottom, you get a, okay, that's a good stand. You get a really dope stand, really high quality stand, very firm, weighs about, it's about, it says, this is about a, one kilogram, 11 kilograms, I, say, I think what it says, I can't really see the shade. Yes, it's about 11 kilograms, so it's pretty heavy, it's gonna keep that, and it's rubberized too, so it don't mess up your desk. That's dope, that's nice. You got the adapter part, of course, but what I didn't expect them to give you is a, metal mesh pop filter that is dope okay i did not i thought it was just gonna be the stand and just it but they just give you a pop filter too that is a dope combination you get a case a stand a pop filter and a microphone this is crazy like yeah i'm ready i'm ready to try this bad boy yeah i'm ready to start making some music with it oh can i get it back in there i'm ready to actually yeah i'm ready now so what i'm about to do right now is i'm about to actually download the drivers because it just has drivers to it you got to register it you know all that good stuff i'm gonna download the drivers and then hook it up and then we're gonna switch over the camera after we're gonna hear what it sound like the initial reaction and how it sounds so let's do that right now so all right here we go with the edge go microphone all set up as you can see looks really nice um got in the shock mount love this shock mount it's really dope um Got a nice little stand to it. It's hooked up to USB and I got my headphones plugged up directly into it. So I'm hearing this with no latency. I mean, zero latency as I speak, it is like in real time. So let me go ahead and switch to the computer so you can see the kind of the interface, but just look how beautiful this thing is. It's just a beautiful microphone. I mean, just look at it. I mean, don't you love this? <laughs> so let's switch over to the computer so you can actually see the whole interface and see how it works. So let's do that right now. 
All right, so here we are. I'm inside FL Studio, but I'm not really using FL Studio. But I do have it set up as the FL Studio driver, so I can, use, like I said, it does work as an interface. Let me switch it over. See, switch it to the Edge Go. Now I'm in FL Studio, and if I need to record stuff, there it is. Boom, output, everything. Everything works fine. Um, I'm gonna try it. I do some tests with it, see if there's any kinks with it, but it does work as an interface, as you can see. So it does work really good, and it's USB, so anybody can use this. Um, so that's great. So here's the interface right now. As you can see, this is what you get when you start up the actual um, the launcher. That's called the Go Launcher. You get this nice little interface. It gives you some few little controls. I haven't really tested out fully yet. Like I said, this is my first impressions type video, but it looks nice. Like I said, you got your input volume. So you can, of course, turn your microphone all the way up if you want it to be louder. Uh, we don't need that. You got your headphone volume for your headphones. Um, you got a show high button, which shows the mixer, which I'm going to have to dive into this because um i played around with it a little bit before i recorded this and you know it's, it's i gotta work it out we're gonna figure it out like i said i'm gonna do my full review in the next few couple of weeks so don't worry about that you got your microphone emulations which is dope and like i said you got 11 different microphones that's what's gonna make this thing dope i mean you got you technically got 12 different microphones at your disposal we'll go through some of them you have effects and you have a ton of effects you have you know fucking saturation stuff gates expanders vintage reverbs, eqs and preamps so we're going to play around with them and those kind of make a little chai chain money to do the full review until later and then you guys got a reverb also as well just in case you want a little reverb so let's go ahead and play with some of these um preamp emulations these microphone emulations real quick you know just kind of give you a little idea what it does so this is the edge go this is like the edge go by itself that especially there and also if you click this window you can change the polar pattern because it's a dual capsule microphone so you can go all the way from omnidirectional as you hear sounds different all the way to figure up eight so that is dope right there or back to cardioid have you want to do it so that is good right there so we got the edge go we got the tokyo 800t which is obviously like a a c800 you know that ten thousand dollar microphone that sony makes so as you can hear it sounds really good i mean it sounds different like i said if i go back to the edge go you can hear how it just changed up a little bit it gets a little bit brighter as you can hear it's a little bit more brighter a little bit more of a modern sounding microphone so that is cool then we got the 47 which is a fit 47 you know no norman type style microphone really dope there very widely used a 67 which is another Ber berlin 67 like you know another norman style microphone an older version then we got the 87 which is you know everyone's favorite microphone let's just listen just listen to that like, like i said go here to the edge go you just hear how it just changes tones really quick and just sounds a little bit more you know that's that modern you know studio industry standard sound right there then we have the oxford 803 which is a ribbon microphone and just listen to the tone like it sounds completely different like it sounds a lot darker and like i said it only got one polar pattern you know and it does model all the polar patterns to each microphone so yeah that's pretty dope right there you got the berlin 108 103 just dope 103 you have the berlin 49t which i guess is a two version of the 49 so that's really that's really dope you can hear it. it's, it's, it's a little different you know got a little different characteristic you got these come oh man the schematic i don't know that's another ribbon microphone but yeah you know these ribbon microphones sound really really dark sounding like they they're really dark sounding enough for most ribbons are a berlin 57 which is a very classic made microphone as well one of them sought out the microphones really expensive probably my favorite microphone of all time the vienna 12 which we already know what that is and I, this is my favorite microphone of all time i really want one of these microphones um uh let's listen to that just just go back let's say just go back to the go just sounds pretty sounds pretty good and then you get to this and it's just got like a little high end little warmth little character you know and then of course we got the 414 which everybody know the 414 is a vintage 414 so yeah you know everything sounded let's go back to that that 12 love that 12 and then like i said on top of that if i want to add like a preamp i can go to like the mic preamps I could choose different preamps. Oh, look at that. They got a 1037. So we we'll just plug that in there. And oh, let's, let's listen to that. Once I bypass it, that's what it sounded like without. And then, you know, got it with there. You can just hear the, the sound quality. I bring out the gain a little bit, you know, bring the output, the you know, kind of keep it nice. And oh, man, that's, that sounds really good. I'm going to experiment with the preamp. I might, I might do a different preamp emulation, a different compressor every stream, every time I go live or whatever with this microphone. And then, you know, got some compressor. So, you know, they don't have all the compressors that they normally make they make a ton of compressors i noticed that this doesn't have all the eqs all the compression all the preamps they just kind of cherry pick the best ones they think will be good which i'm, I'm good because i mean if you're a streamer or something like that this is you don't need a ton of compressors and all that anyway so i'm just gonna throw in a the ba60a which is kind of like a 
um, LA Two A cloned by BAE, and BAE actually is a a good uh, good a company, a real company too. So we'll just turn on the input. You know, I want to get a little bit of that, and I'm gonna actually bring in the compressor a little bit, get some of that compression going in. Give me give me, give me some compression, and then bring on the input. It's not compressing that moment because the output's not going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, check, 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 check. You know, bring the input in there. And then, you know, bring the output down. Check, check, mic check, 212. Let's bypass all that. You bypass it. That's what it sounds like. Then you engage it. And you can just hear how good it sounds. It sounds really good. And then on top of that, you got the reverb, of course, which I got to turn it on in the actual mixer. So I think I got to bypass. Let me see. Go here bypass so and it has different type of you know um, presets so you know you can just mess around we got a little doubler effect right there you know large room small room large double you know train you know stuff like that so it's pretty good you know good for like recording and a little 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 um reverb going in there you're doing some live stream stuff doing a little special effects real quick and that's fun but yeah that's just a little overview of it right now like i said i have i'm gonna do my full in-depth review i want to record with this i want to make videos with this i want to live stream with this i want to use this in a in a real world environment a real world case scenario so i can really show you guys how to sound but as of right now it sounds really good let me guys know what you think about this microphone how it sound what kind of test do you want me to put it through you want me to make some songs with it you want me to do some streams with it you want me to do some podcasts well i'm definitely do it with the podcast um just let me know what you guys want to see me do with this so i can really test this out to its full ability and i should have a review out in the next week or so so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy like all the i got like, 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 all right all right like always, y'all know who it is, your boy Slint, aka Mr. Different. Once again, shout out to the guys at Antelope Audio for sending me this over. Like I said, I'm going to really put it through its paces and give you guys a full, honest review about this. This is a review, just unboxing, first impressions, and so far, I'm pretty impressed. Let's just see if it can hold up until the end. So with that being said, y'all know who it is, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.